for over 20 years, your number one source for local professional wrestling entertainment. Previously on VCW Livewire. To the stomach. Nice floating over. Oh, he kicked. Kevin Quinn kicked Brian Matthews. It's That's almost it. it. What an upset. I say an upset not because Jeremy Profit won, but the method in which he won. It's what a quick victory just like that. He's... Uh, sunset flip from the outside over and in and Jeremy Profit wins and is your number one contender for the VCW Live Wire Championship against the Reaper Steve Beck. I know that's going to be burning the superstar Ryan Matthews. Steve, I, I took the opportunity to buy this airtime to inform you and everyone watching at home why me and you have been dancing to this tune for the last 10 years. Because I feel like it's time we, we clear the air. I feel like it's time for a little bit of closure, Steve. You see, this isn't about what I've done to you. This isn't about what I did to your leg. This isn't even about me taking the VCW Live Wire title. No, it's not about that. It's, it's about the last 10 years, how much you desire, how much you need to be me. And you can high five all those little snot nosed brats and all those welfare recipient parents of theirs. And you'll never, ever be me. You do all these crazy stunts in the ring. You've done all these ladder matches. Bo Douglas gave you a razor's edge to the outside of the ring once. All this stuff has happened to you. You have bled. You have sweat. You have paid the price. Not for the adulation of the crowd. No. We know that's not true, Steve. You've done it so you can be as respected as I am. So you can live the life I live. You see... You can do that. You can, you can high-five all those kids and you can shake hands and, you know, they'll chant Reaper, Reaper, Reaper. I don't need that because I win matches. I win titles. I make money. I sleep with beautiful women, Steve. 
And while you call that a shallow, empty existence, I call it being awesome. You're the one, my friend, that lives that shallow, empty life. You see, every morning, your two kids look you in the eye and they tell you, Daddy, we're proud. They don't believe it. And you don't believe it either. Because what do they have to be proud of? You? You in your ridiculous quest to be me? Because I wake up in the morning and the only person that matters in my little corner of the world is me. And I look in the mirror and I look at the only person that matters in this world, me. And I say, Ryan Matthews, I'm proud of you. And the only person in the world that matters, me, looks back. And I believe it. Steve, this is it for us. This, this, is, this is over. Because that age-old adage goes, losers lose. And winners win. So now I'm going to put you in the rearview mirror. As much as that might pain you to hear that, it's over, Steve. This 10-year feud has ended. Because you are a selfie, white trash, degenerate loser. And Ryan Matthews is a winner. And I'm going to make you a promise, Steve. I promise you, please, please just accept this ending. Accept closure. Because I promise you, the next time your kids lie to you and tell you they're proud of you, it's going to be at eye level. Because I'm going to put you in a wheelchair. Permanently. The end. problem with you. The only problem I have is you holding that belt. That's what I'm coming for. Bo Douglas is deserving VCW heavyweight champion. So why don't you buy me a bear? I have one thing to say to you, Bo Douglas. Yeah? Oggy, oggy, oggy! Oi, oi, oi! If I was you, I'd leave right now. Bo Douglas, you don't mess with a mass hole. Hello fans and welcome once again to the American Legion Hall in Quincy, Mass for another exciting episode of DCW Livewire. Chris Charisma here at ringside, as always, with the Magic Sean Feeney. Chris, are you ready for action here tonight in Quincy? Absolutely, and what we just saw at the beginning of the program, Bo Douglas chased out of the building, but what we saw last week was the Brotherhood stealing away another title from a BCW superstar. Will that happen, Sean, again this week? In our main event as Jason Rumble goes one-on-one -on -one against the heavyweight champion Mike McCarthy. We'll find out later on, but it's now time for our opening contest. The following three-way champion is the forward boss, and in the forward, the unsection bare knuckle championship. Enter the first. From a Dr. News, playing the Prince and playing the Homeless Henry Mayhem. Here comes Here Homeless go, Harry Zanuck. And uh, the first introductory into this uh, opening contest is three-way dance. Sean Feeney for the Bare Knuckle Championship. And... Before we talk about the Bare Knuckle Championship and who Homeless Harry Zanuck's opponent is this week, uh, let's first talk about the fact that 
Homeless Harry's piggy is still missing, Sean. I wonder, that pig has been missing for a long, long time now, so I wonder where it is. You think he might have lost it in the dumpster? Well, I didn't, I'll, I, listen, okay, he's harassed Jason Rumble. He's even harassed me, Sean. Uh, Sean, I got to tell you, I don't have anything to do with this piggy, but it looks like that cup is getting pretty heavy with all those chains, but there you see it, Sean. This matchup, our opening contest, three title matches this week on Livewire, this one for the Bare Knuckle Championship, and there you see the Bare Knuckle Champion. Bare Knuckle Burley. Still your bare knuckle champion. Yeah! And of course you all remember just a few weeks back he did lose that title to Playboy Jimmy James after getting uh, after Playboy Jimmy James destroyed a bunch of referees in myself included, Sean. Uh, this is what happened. And this is from Commissioner Rob Tuttle. Due to unnecessary and unsportsmanlike conduct, Playboy Jimmy James has been suspended. He has also been fined in order to return the Bare Knuckle Championship belt to Bare Knuckle Burn. So I guess that means the title change never happened. The decision, official decision was reversed. Bare Knuckle Burley, still your Bare Knuckle Champion. Waiting for the referee to check the competitors. All three and of them. Referee Kevin Quinn taking more abuse by the wrestlers here at VCW. Still smiling her off though. And we're waiting. We're waiting for the official bell from referee Kevin Quinn and Steph Mike is complaining. And Chris will get that bell when VCW Livewire rolls on. Welcome back to VCW Livewire and Stiff Mike has been maintaining control. While, oh, did you see that? Ripping Sean the Beanie. hairs out of Baron Burley's beard. Back to Livewire here at VCW Winter Warfare from the American Legion Hall in Quincy, Massachusetts. Almost Harry in to save uh, Stiff Mike from getting pinned here and Baron Burley looking to retain his championship. This match is chaos at its best. Three-way dance for the bare knuckle title and what a takeover by the champion. You just snap mare homeless Harry? Out of a out of a rear chin, yes. That takes a lot of strength to move homeless Harry. And Bare Knuckle yeah. Burley is not the champion for nothing. Although some people may argue that. He is a tough competitor and he is a bare knuckle champion from the mean streets of Mill City, which is also known as Lowell, Massachusetts. Oh, and speaking of bare knuckles, both Stiff Mike and Bare Knuckle Burley trade and blows back and forth from their knees. Well, Stiff Mike from New York. Another thaw figure to the eye. Grew up in, in a hard fought community, so he has to fight for his own. And so does Bare Knuckle Listen, Burley. And, and sti from Stiff Mike's hometown, everybody just fought. That's how Stiff Mike became tough. And he well, took his skills to the wrestling ring. That's how he became Stiff Mike. He was always a hard hitting competitor. Putting the sweat on Kevin Quinn. Homeless Harry more more interaction, more now that's emotional abuse, embarrassing Kevin Quinn in the ring. Only oh, I thought Homeless Harry might have had a victory there, might have snuck one out. Ben Capurley's got to get got to get involved here. He's going to lose his title, and he's on the outside of the ring. I don't think he's too worried because Stiff Mike is probably the most hard hitting competitor in this match. So if Stiff Mike was to lose, I think it wouldn't oh, come in the hands of, of Homeless Oh, Harry. what a maneuver! You're Take absolutely right, Sean. I agree with you on that. A little bit of showboating there. Taunting to Homeless Harry, but distraction taking advantage of it is Baron Uncle Burley, who unceremoniously dumps Stiff Mike to the outside. Heart punch! Calling for that heart punch. Oh, there it is. It's got to be all over from there. One, two, three. Here's your winner and still 
unsanctioned bare knuckle champion, Bear Knuckle Burley. Yeah! His music plays. We gotta play his music. Look at this, Stiff Mike. Get in the ring. What's this? Oh! Stiff Mike taking it to Bare Knuckle Burley. Stiff Mike attacking Bare Knuckle Burley after the match was over. And what, what's going on? Stiff Mike is grabbing the Bare Knuckle Championship and leaving. Come on, music. Too early. Hey, Meepaw, wake up. Wake up, hello. Yoo-hoo. So you call yourself the Bare Knuckle Champion, right? Damn right. Who have you beaten for this title? Nobody. Because you're a nobody. Well, shut your mouth, I'm talking. So guess what, Bumpy? From here on in, this is the Stiff Bud Champion. Because I'm taking this home with me. If you got the stones to beat Stiff Mike, let me know. Why? Because I'm Stiff Mike and you're not. Oh, what a stiff right hand by Stiff Mike. Stiff Mike taking it to Bare Knuckle Burley, saying that he's reclaiming that championship as the Stiff Mike Championship. Well, you know, Bare Knuckle Burley brought that title here into VCW, so technically Stiff Mike can do that because it's not a sanctioned VCW championship. Essentially, Bare Knuckle Burley created that championship from his wins in the Mill City of Lowell, Massachusetts, uh, is claiming himself as the bare knuckle champion. So essentially, Stiff Mike has really every right to do that, and VCW has no authority to oversee that. Well, I guess you're right, Chris Carrizo, but let's take a look at the replay. Stiff Mike dropping down Homeless Harry. Bare knuckle Burley coming on in. Yeah, I don't know what he calls that, Sean, but it was it was devastating nonetheless. But Burley dumps out Stiff Mike to the outside, and then a heart punch from Bare knuckle Burley for the one, two, three. That match is over. Bare knuckle Burley retaining the title. But after the matchup, Stiff Mike wasn't finished. No, he's not dropping down Bare knuckle Burley and taking the title. And this is what he had to say after he took that title. Right here. No more bare knuckle title, it's Stiff Mike's title. Bye bye, Luffy. Bye bye, Luffy. That's what he had to say to bare knuckle Burley, but yet fans still to come in our main event. Sean, I'm looking forward to this rematch for the heavyweight title. The Boston bad boy Jason Rumble, the leader of the Brotherhood gets his championship shot tonight against Mike McCarthy. And coming up next, fans, the VCW Tag Team Championship are on the line. There you see Fabby T getting his team ready. Fans, we'll be right back with that matchup. <laughs> VCW Livewire, and uh, you hear the whistle of Sergeant Muldoon, that's the prison guard whistle, leading his inmates to the ring for this VCW Tag Team Championship Contest, Sean. That's right, Chris. The convicts with Sergeant Muldoon returning here to Victory Championship Wrestling to take on the great-looking athletic men with Tony Ulysses. And before, earlier rather, in the day we had some heard some words from the convicts, so uh, let's hear what they had to say. When I came into BCW, I came in with the toughest team in the world, 
We came out here and we destroy everybody. And now Glam is the tag team champions. Well, that's just fine with us because on Friday night in the cell block, we take teams like Glam and we break them and we tear them apart and we show them just who the toughest team in the world is. The convicts from Rikers Island, New York. Get ready, VCW, because the new tag team champions are coming. And we're coming to destroy the great looking athletic gentlemen, whatever the heck their name is. It doesn't matter because they're going down. Sergeant Maldu giving me orders to keep watch of the chains and handcuffs that are, these are state issued and uh, I, I was mandated to watch these so I'm going to listen to Sergeant Muldoon because I don't want to get beat up again, quite frankly. The convicts on release from Rikers Island here to compete in BCW and they're competing against the tag team champions. athletic men with their mentor, the fabulous Tony Ulysses, who just blew bubbles all over us here at the commentator's booth. They are your newly crowned and defending VCW Tag Team Champions. And of course, don't forget Michelle Moulet, your MSW Atlantic Canadian Champion as well. Still reigning and defending as well, although he's not defending that title tonight. Well, we haven't seen him around with that title in a while. Well, he's still the champion. He just hasn't been bringing it out. He's got, they've got their task cut out for them here in the Convicts. And this ought to be one interesting tag team championship matchup at Winter Warfare here at the American Legion Hall, 81 Liberty Street in Quincy, Massachusetts. Hey, you know what else is interesting, Chris Charisma? Michel Moulet's face paint. That is very interesting. Yes, you could say it's very interesting, Sean Feeney. It's kind of creepy, to be honest with you. And so is their, really their whole attitude. And, and aligning with the fabulous Tony Ulysses is definitely a smart man as far as professional wrestling yes, is, is concerned. We're going to have to get to this tag team contest when VCW returns. to VCW Livewire and it has been all glam in these opening contests. Glam, baby! As you like to say. And look at that! Look at look at that transaction of offense from the convicts there, Sean Feeney. Convicts tagging in and going right after his shovel away. Putting him in the corner. Now since the start of this match, well the second beginning of it, it's been really fast paced action. Oh. The convicts double teaming Michelle Moulet as Fabulous T distracts Glenn Kane. Dan Terry trying to get involved. This is what I mean, uh, Sean. The referee's got his hands full in this. Well, when you have six men on the outside, there's no control. There really is no control. Absolutely. Especially when you're dealing with the fabulous. And look at this, Sergeant Muldoon on the outside doing his job. Oh, a little bit of double teaming here. It's, like a, it's a double team. So with one man distracted, it's still a double team because, like I said, this is going to turn into a three-on-three -three contest. Well, so far we haven't seen Fabulous T get involved, but I'm sure that he will at some point in this match. Knowing Fabulous T, he can't keep his hands off the other men. Not, not in a, 
<laughs> I'm going to tell him you said that. I'm going to tell him you said that he likes to touch other men. Well, you know what I mean. I know, and I'm going to tell Fabulous T. He may like to touch you after that. Uh, no. Tag team double teaming maneuver going on here. Nice innovative move by the convicts on Michelle Millet. Now, now, Glam was in control and confident in these opening minutes, but since then the tides have turned, Sean, puts and it's now the, the convicts in control. Well, I was kind of expecting this. Sergeant Muldoon to get involved, Fabulous Tia to get involved, and this just to be complete chaos. I, I was expecting this. Uh, of course, order's been a little bit restored, but regardless, it's still a difficult job to officiate for referee Glenn Kane. Look at this. This is more example. Oh, sorry. More example. Dude, more double teaming by the convicts and Fabulous Triple T's. Team. Triple team. Fabulous T. Did you see what he did? He got up and distracted the referee, Sean. Well, that's not to really help his team. It doesn't. Well, he's trying to help his team, but it doesn't really help. If anything, it makes more trouble for his team. Michelle Moulet reeling in pain, but not giving up here against the Congress. Fabulous T's getting nervous. Look at him pacing. He's he's getting nervous. His man's taking a lot of punishment by the convicts on that left knee. And I don't know how much Michelle Moulet can really withstand. We know he's durable and we know he's resilient. But this has essentially been three on one for a good portion of the good five minutes of this matchup so far. The last five minutes has been all the convicts. Uh, Glenn Kane not seeing the double teaming move right there. Convict helping the other convict. Just wrenching in. Now, now, do we know which convict? Do we know which convict is which? Does the referee know which convict is which? I'm not entirely. Do you sure. know which convict is which? No, because usually they don't have these these long suits on. Usually they usually have their trunks. I yeah. can't with these long suits on. I can't tell who is who. I can't tell either because one of them has a tattoo. I know that much, but I'm not sure. But which we one can't it is. see which one because they're covered right now. Smart strategy by Sergeant Muldoon. You think? Well, you think it was his idea title. going into this contest? This is for the tag team championship, and I know the convicts will pull out any uh, any and all stops they can to get that championship oh, goal. Look at this one package. You're right, Sean Feeney. Unbelievable. Glenn Kane saying it's only a two count. And look at that old school prison mentality. Short, short rabbit punches to the ribs, Feeney. Just wear him down to the point where he can't work anymore. His body is cutting the cutting the breath out. And look at Michelle Moulet trying to fight back. Coming back, training some blows. Goes to whip him off the ropes, but gets stopped. Oh, that was a very nice slingshot. Slingshot what? Backbreaker? There's a lot. Just ah, uh, did you see that taunting? Chris I Green did. Up? Look at that. Look at the cover. One referee, referee with a very slow cadence today. Glenn Kane. Oh, hey, look here, Chris. One of them is wearing. Uh, I saw that. The the band long hair. The uh, mullet's hairband just went flying. Mule. Listen. All right. I'm listening. It's mullet, mule. It depends on what part of the country you're, you're referring to here. We know he's a pseudo-Canadian. He's from the United States. His last name is Mullet. Officially. He's the one that's changed his name to Mule. So you're right, it is Mule. But sometimes I forget that. I'm under a lot of, I'm on a lot of pain medication, you know. You gotta cut me some slack here. I'm still hurting. All right, all right, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But thank you for the correction there. But you're right. It is Moulet. Just doing my job. Absolutely. Michelle. Finally for once. Michel Moulet getting back up to a vertical base. Taken down. Or taken what do you over. think, Sean? Michel Moulet is going to have to do to make a tag. Because I really think if he doesn't make one soon, he's going to lose these championships. Uh, convict tagging in. Oh! Right as he's being rolled over. Now double teaming from the convicts. Referee saying it's a legal tag. It's a cover one, two. Only a two count. See, there's nothing that Dan Carey or Fabulous T can do. It seems like it's all convicts from here in. If I was Dan Terry, I wouldn't even have stopped. I mean, I know the referee kind of told him to and doesn't want to lose his title. The convicts are just really all over the place, not even staying in their corner, really making it difficult for the referee to do his job as well, which gives them the advantage overall. And that's why, I mean, they have been in control 
for 75 to 80 percent of this matchup. We're now at nine minutes into this matchup, Sean, or a little more than that, and it's been seven minutes of offense from the convicts, all on fabulous, uh, all on Michelle Moulet and Fabulous T really getting involved to the disadvantage of his own team. Fabulous T looking on in a little bit of fear while Sergeant Muldoon looks on in excitement. He's so of course, close his, leading his men. His men are on top. His men are dominating. It's been all convicts in this matchup. And oh, what a double team. Good double team maneuver. Fabulous team in the ring. I can't believe it. Distracting the referee. Great work by Fabulous T. Using his best. There's a cover. One, two. Well, Fabulous T is limited because he can't even get over there to break up that pin because Sergeant Muldoon is right there. It's in their corner, and that's good tag team wrestling. Pinfalls, maneuvers, double teams all over the corner, and there's a comeback. Wait a minute. One, two. Referee slow with that pin. There's Finally a big tag. Dan Terry. Dan Terry coming in, a house of fire. Dan Terry, a huge house of fire, and he is rearing to go. Picks up the convict. Nice body slam. Look at here. the strength of the fitness man, Dan Terry. One, oh, not even on. a count. Sergeant, Sergeant Muldoon. Sergeant Muldoon distracting Glenn Kane with that whistle. Let Michelle, sorry, Dan Terry coming in. Wait a minute, not to be. Double team maneuver. Convict. Wait a minute, who's who? Russian leg sweep. But who's who? Well, the oh, there, was there a blind tag? There was a blind tag made by the other convicts. Was there? They spray, spray by the fabulous one into the eyes of the convicts. That was the perfume. He pulled it out of his pocket. He pulled it out of his pocket. Oh my! Leg drop off the top. Unbelievable oh. maneuver. Three count. ECW Tag Team Champions, the great looking athletic men. Glam has done it here tonight against the convicts and Sergeant Muldoon. No matter what the sergeant could do, he couldn't lead his men to victory and the tag titles. What a matchup by the convicts. They put up a great effort, but it was a Fast paced maneuver by Michelle Moulet and the strength of Dan Terry. It was that tag team championship combination of Glam that was able to defeat the convicts. The convicts close, but no cigar, Sean Feeney. And this what, is why Glam is your tag team champion. What a finish to this matchup. And as you see, Glam with the pinfall victory and the convicts not quite able to make that break up of that pinfall and you're still your tag team champions the great looking athletic men great job by the great and looking the fabulous athletic one tony ulysses fans we'll be right back to more vcw live wire action after this and don't forget sean coming up next it's our vcw live wire main event for the vcw heavyweight championship and the heavyweight champion, Mike McCarthy, defends against the Boston Bad Boy, Jason Rumble. That matchup, fans, is coming up next. Don't go anywhere. Time. Welcome back, fans, to VCW Livewire. You heard my colleague Sean Feeney say it's main event championship time, Sean. Ladies and gentlemen, the Boston bad boy Jason Rumble versus Mike McCarthy, the match that everyone's wanted to see. The rematch that everyone's wanted to see. All sorts of letters being sent into VCW offices for this matchup. Well, here it is, and here comes 
the first competitor in this matchup, Sean, is the Boston bad boy, Jason Rumble. Listed as the challenge. <laughs> Jason Rumble anywhere near this commentator's table. I don't want any member of the Brotherhood. Oh, from what I've told, the superstar Ryan Matthews is also not allowed at ringside because he does not have a manager's license that did not go through. But he's still in the building. The only Brotherhood member not suspended this evening for this main event contest for the VCW Heavyweight Championship. The former VCW Heavyweight Champion, the Boston Bad Boy Jason Rumble, in the ring with his heavyweight title he and he is looking to leave this ring with his heavyweight championship and he will be a multi-time heavyweight champion if he can be victorious against the hate maker Mike McCarthy and the hate maker Mike McCarthy has had his number from the start so Jason Rumble has a lot to prove here in this one-on-one -on -one matchup against Mike McCarthy and here comes the heavyweight champion. Chris Charisma. I can't hear you. The crowd here is unbelievably loud. The hate maker Mike McCarthy is the fan favorite for sure. I was saying what the hell is he wearing? I don't know. It's a mask of some sort, but he is definitely the fan favorite here in Quincy, Massachusetts. Assholes right there. Feeney, I can't hear a word you're saying it's because right. Mike McCarthy's fans are unbelievably loud here at the American Legion Hall for Winter Warfare. They even brought their side. My fist, your face, Mike McCarthy saying. Favorite saying, that's right. That he's going to make you choke the F out. Your VCW heavyweight champion of the world, the hate maker Mike McCarthy, set to defend his. I have nothing to do with it. No, no, no. Hey, you I did nothing. You got to worry about Mike McCarthy. Don't worry about us. Mike McCarthy has your number, and can Jason Rumble make it two for two here at Winter Warfare in the Brotherhood? Regains two out of their three tag uh, championships that they no longer have. Sean Feeney, Mike McCarthy just laid the heavyweight title up belt in the ring as a dare you to cross this line to the Boston bad boy Jason Rumble, and this ought to be one epic one-on-one -on -one heavyweight title matchup. And just to correct something that you said, Chris Charisma, go, oh, Ryan go right ahead. has never held a championship, so therefore he can't regain but he, it. But, he, but the Brotherhood regained gold. Yes, regained gold. Listen to the crowd here in Quincy, solidly behind the heavyweight champion Mike McCarthy. Just listen to this crowd, Chris Charisma. How can I not? They're so loud. I don't know. And Re Commissioner Rob Tuttle here at ringside taking the belt from referee of this contest, Kevin Quinn. And we are just, here it is. Referee Kevin Quinn signaling for the bell. And this epic heavyweight championship matchup is officially Sean Feeney underway. It's officially Sean Feeney? Yeah. Uh, all those mass holes in the corner. That's what he likes to call his fans. Exactly. Right. Yeah, I probably should have explained that first. Well, instead of calling, well, uh, whatever. Well, personally, I think they're all Massachusetts morons, but Mike McCarthy calls them mass holes. And, of course, the Boston bad boy, Jason Rumble, 
being from Boston. The fans, not you. Ha. Uh, you just heard that. He didn't. He didn't hear it because how if did, he did, he would have known I was talking about the fans here in Quincy. He heard moron. So how did he hear that over all these fans? I don't know. I think he just loves the Brotherhood. Loves to beat me up. We're right next to each other. We can barely hear each other. I know. I know. Supersonic ears. Listen to the crowd. I can't even hear myself think. It's so loud in here. Never mind him hearing me from the center of the ring. You know what? I miss Chris Charisma. <laughs> oh, tell me, Sean. I miss I don't Jason know. Rumble rapping his own entrance. I, I know that. Look at that. He's doing a little dance there. What the hell is that? The Running Man. What uh, the hell is that? Taking a trip that? back to the 70s here, Chris. The 70s? I don't the think 70s. that was ever in style. I don't even know. I don't think that was ever in style. Hey, though. I was born in 1993. I don't know what time that was in. I don't think it ever was. I think that just became official now from Jason Rumble. I think it was the 80s, actually, if it was the running man, Sean. But nonetheless, I want to see a lockup here. I want to see this matchup underway. Jason Rumble's really trying to get under the skin of Mike McCarthy. And Mike McCarthy doesn't seem phased. I mean, as much as I love the wrestling part of this, I also love the crazy antics of the wrestlers here. Absolutely. That's what makes Victory Championship Wrestling number one professional wrestling organization in the world. Never mind here in New England. I'm sorry, but we are the most entertaining hour on the World Wide Web. I don't care. You can compare us to that other company that's on network TV getting paid. I don't care, Sean. My heart here is with, the, is with Victory Championship Wrestling, and it's for matches and competitors like this. Jason Rumble, Mike McCarthy, the VCW Heavyweight Championship, and happening right here in Quincy, Massachusetts, Sean. This is what and why VCW is number one. Well, we always have a great crowd here in Quincy, Massachusetts, my hometown, as we all know. Now, I'll grant, I'll grant you, Sean, the administration here in VCW may not be exactly up to par, and that's going to change very soon. I've got a plan in mind, and I'm, I've divulged a little more than I've wanted to, but nonetheless, there's a lockup finally in this heavyweight championship matchup. Jason Rumble is saying that he wants nothing of Mike McCarthy while in that corner. But I don't blame him. He's backed up in the corner. He's... Referees. Absolutely. He's, just, he's defenseless in that corner. Unless the referee breaks it up. Plus, it's mind games on Jason Rumble's part, too. What a stiff lockup and a quick roll-up one. Oh, no. Jason Rumble said forget about it. Forget it's, about it. You ain't scoring a quick victory over me. Like a fish in a barrel. You tell me to keep the brother running back. He gets all these idiots out there. They pay to be here. Jason Rumble arguing. I wanted to try to sneak the mic over so I could hear what Jason Rumble was saying. But Jason Rumble arguing with Commissioner Tuttle saying you got to keep the Brotherhood in back. Well, it's you should. The Brotherhood's done nothing but run roughshod. For once, Commissioner Rob Tuttle has finally laid down some law. I still want to know. Shut up, I want to know what you. repercussions are going to come to the Brotherhood from the injury I've sustained. But look at this. Look at that. Look at the distance, Chris Charisma. The Jay height. Rumble getting launched across the ring. And oh. 16 foot long ring. He just got and launched about 15 feet. Jason Rumble caught, suckered Mike McCarthy. Oh, into the corner and threw him. Grabbed it after he took two boosts to the stomach. But Jason Rumble pulled the tights of Mike McCarthy and drove him into the turnbuckle and then dropped two feet in his face. And look at He only angered Mike McCarthy. Mike McCarthy is a bad, bad man. You can see by all those tattoos. Spin in the hand. Listen to this crowd, Chris. They're still going at it. Oh, and there it is! Like Babe Ruth again. Mike McCarthy calling a shot. Oh, and Jason Rumble couldn't even kick out. He positioned his body to, for his foot to reach the ropes, caused the three count to be stopped. I think Jason Rumble was going to lose his title right there. What a heavyweight championship main event we got, Sean. Jason Look at this. Rumble. What an innovative pin. One, two. Oh, man. Jason Rumble just got the shoulder up off the canvas. And a leg sweep. And a quick one count. And another leg sweep. And a 
A nice bridge. I don't, what a pinning combination that was into a crucifix. One, two. Feeding too much action to keep up with. I'm just trying to save my breath for when I need it. Both men go for a backslide. And what a close Mike line. McCarthy that comes out on top with that big clothesline sending Jason through the air. Not a great cover. Didn't quite have both shoulders covered there. Only one. Mike McCarthy using, trying to seek a quick pinfall, but you got to really cover both shoulders of Jason Rumble. He's too good. He's too good to leave a shoulder exposed. Hey, Jason Rumble is a veteran of the game, been in this business for 15 years. And that's right. Went right, to the, went right to the ropes to create the break. And Mike McCarthy took his eyes off at the ball. Nice and slingshot right off the top rope. And there's the result. Sending Mike McCarthy down, really holding that neck. Cutting off the air. It stopped Mike run. McCarthy in his tracks. Well, if you cut off the air. Kowals off Kowalski the roll. Kowalski roll. Jason Rumble, a Kowalski student, knows the Kowalski roll very well. Now, Jason, I love it. I Jason love Rumble's it. mocking Mike McCarthy and all the fans here in Quincy. I'm sorry. I like McCarthy, but I love me some Adam Sandler. Listen to the crowd solidly behind Mike McCarthy. And Jason Rumble doesn't know what to do. I think he's in the ring trying to catch his breath. He's, I think the crowd threw him off his game a little bit. But Jason Rumble picking Mike McCarthy up now, trying to create some more offense. He really needs to start working on, on Mike McCarthy real soon. What a soup in. from the outside in. And there you go. I just mentioned it. Jason Rumble working on the back. Could be setting up Mike McCarthy for the... For the Rumble tumble, or maybe the Mass Pike submission maneuver. One, two, Jason Rumble has many onslaughts, many offensive maneuvers that can win a match for him, and it starts by softening body parts up, and one of those body parts happens to be the lower back of Mike McCarthy. Wait, the Rumble tumble? We haven't seen the Rumble tumble in a long time. He broke it out the last time he fought Mike McCarthy and almost took the referee out. Sorry, that was the Mass Pike, I apologize. No, that was the Rumble tumble, but don't correct me. I was right for I once. Oh, a third shot missed. And that one connected from Mike McCarthy. And oh so my. did they. Huge, huge chops lighting up Jason Rumble's face and a boot lighting up Mike McCarthy's. Jason Rumble calling for an elbow. Referee Kevin Quinn checking on Mike McCarthy after he admonished Jason Rumble for climbing to the mid rope, second rope, and what a reverse elbow, and oh my, what impact. Nice big back elbow, oh. taking both men down. Three. Three. Referee Kevin Quinn initiating the count for a 10. You know, but if he not even near, ten, not, both e men are not even close. Only a two count. Both men are already at their feet. These men are going to end this match up that way. No way. And nice, nice butterfly suplex by the Boston Bad Boy. Jason Rumble trying to take control. In a recover. Mike McCarthy puts his foot right on the Jason rope. Rumble Jason Rumble could have just hooked the leg, and it would have been a legal pin. But, but Jason Rumble said, "Forget about it." Maybe, maybe Jason Rumble starting to use. Oh, starting to lose wind here as well. Look at that blatantly choking him out with the, with the ropes. He's got a five count to break it. He's using his wrist tape. Technically illegal, but not cause for disqualification. It is part of the uniform here at BCW. But it's choking. Which is he has a five count to break it. I'm not defending the brotherhood, don't get me wrong. But he has a five count to break it. This is for the heavyweight title, Sean. You use it all stops. Anything goes. Even though it's, even anything, anything doesn't really go. Jason Rumble getting sent to the outside here. Right in front of us. Wow. wow that was high impact. All the way to the top. Thrown from the, from the floor of the mat all the way to the top on the outside. Jason Rumble is sucking wind here. Looking at the lights on the ring. And really, I can hear him in front of me coughing. I don't even think Jason Rumble can breathe at this point. Well, he did just hit the lower back off the... Unbelievable! Oh, wow! Outside! 
corkscrew plancha sends Mike McCarthy and Jason Initially Rumble a glazing blow, but Mike McCarthy able to maneuver his body on top of Jason Rumble, causing the impact all the way to the floor and to the outside. Mike McCarthy is pulling out all the stops, but no! Nobody home in the chop! Again, nobody home! And a right hand! Nice big punch! Blocking the shots into the corner! Big love and blows to the back. Now Jason Rumble needs to conserve his energy and get away from Mike McCarthy. Mike McCarthy just told all these fans to move. This is not a, this is not a, oh no, and it backfired. Into the mass. Into the crowd. His fans threw him right into him. Well, luckily there was one fan there to catch him. I, I don't care. There might have been a fan there or not, oh, but yeah, it still hurt. They're throwing him back into the ring. Just picking him up and sending him. Hey, that's perfectly legal, referee. That Absolutely. He was legal. thrown in from the crowd. More like his boot, your face. And the, look at this. They might have thrown their favorite superstar into a loss. No. Just a two count. <laughs> you hear that, little girl? No. Uh, she's losing her voice, and I'm losing my voice, too. This main event is exciting to the point where I am losing my voice, Chris Ah, uh, So am I. This is one heck of a main event here it's in Quincy. Okay. I'm prepared with a liter bottle of water. I have a beer. That's good for me. I uh, shouldn't be drinking on the job. <coughs> Jason Rumble going for the high knee. Nobody home. Will he try it again? <laughs> Referee gets knocked down. Just like in the last match. Almost took referee out last time, and this time the boot does connect to the side of Kevin Quinn's face. And, and right on cue, here comes Bo Douglas. The referee gets knocked out, and here comes Bo Douglas. But who do you think I is told on the you I don't trust him. Look at this. Well, what is this? Is this? What is this? He's I told you not to trust Bo Douglas. He, what did I say? He took out Mike McCarthy. He's helping Wait. Jason Rumble! I knew it! I told you so, Sean Feeney! The this two is men. ridiculous and disgusting! Oh, I can't Wait, Wait a minute! God. Wait a minute! What is this? Oh my! High impact! Jason Rumble down! Mike McCurry! What is Bo Douglas's deal? Bo what? Douglas feeds for himself! That's all he cares about is himself! He wants the heavyweight championship and he clearly made a point in this main event laying out both competitors and we have no ref referee stirring wait it's and the superstar ryan matthews in the ring rolling jason rumble an unconscious jason rumble over an unconscious mike mccarthy steve beck wait steve beck's out here on his injured leg so oh, what a kick the leg gives up but the super kick connects Jason Rumble still on top of Mike McCarthy. I'm losing my voice. I can't believe and what a main event this is. More chaos. It's a count. One, two, two. Only a two count. He kicked Sean, out. Sean, Mike McCarthy. I mean, Steve Beck and Ryan Matthews fight on the outside all the way to the back. And Mike. only a two count. I can't keep up with the action, Sean. It's all over the place, and it's hot, definitely live wire. We're both losing our voices. This comes with the excitement here. And a VCW. main event here and VCW live wire and winter warfare. Some of the best talent in the world comes here to VCW, and that is being shown right there in the ring with Mike McCarthy and Jason Rumble. Stay down, Kevin. Stay down, Kevin. If Kevin Quinn was smart, he'd stay off his feet and just call the rest of this matchup from his feet, from his knees, rather. He can't even stand. He's trying to get up, and he can't. Wait, he's trying to wipe the sweat out of his eyes. to give my eye. buddy Kevin Quinn some effort. Oh, and look at that. Jason Rumble's going for a high-risk maneuver, and Mike McCarthy saw it coming. Wait, he's going up. Jason Rumble took too long to get up there. 
Could this be the belly to belly suplex on the top rope? I'm not sure. We've seen Jason these guys Rumble. go at it from before. Jason Rumble fighting back. Oh, wave. Jason Rumble fighting him off. Said, uh uh, not this time. You're not getting me with that. Wait a minute. Look how quick McCarthy. There you go. Oh! Both men down. Kevin Quinn down. What a hell of a contest here! Oh, the referee can't even count. He's 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 like still winded. Cover up on 16. There's a cover. Contest. Mike McCarthy rolled over. Mike McCarthy's foot Two. under the rope. That's an illegal count. But Jason Rebel kicks out nonetheless. Two and a half. Two and three quarters. Call it what you want. This match continues. Chris Charisma controversy still surrounding. This what controversy? BCW. It was Did even on both sides. These men are slugging it out. Did you see Bo Douglas? Matt. Oh my! Mike McCarthy. Oh! Jason Rumble dumping Mike McCarthy down to the canvas. This gotta be it. This gotta be it. I don't know, Chris. Chris. Good positioning by the referee. Oh! Only two count. Two and seven eighths. Does it get any closer than that, Sean? Does it? It doesn't. Kevin Quinn signaling that it was only a two count. Jason Rumble thinks he's got this match won. I think he's feeling it. He's feeling the heavyweight title coming back home, as he says. Can Mike, well, can Mike McCarthy fight off whatever this is? No, I don't know. Here it is. It is the Matt. Oh he's no! Back. It's the CTFO. It's the CTFO. Look, the joke. The F out. Will yeah, Jason yeah, Rumble tap? Will he tap? He's in the center of the ring, Sean. I don't know. He's tapping. Mike McCarthy applying the CTFO for the win. What a hard fought battle, Chris Charisma. But in the end, the VCW Championship is going home with Mike McCarthy. Mike, McCar Mike McCarthy fought against all odds. It was the dynasty. Bo Douglas after the referee got knocked out. Attacking both competitors, making a statement. And we thought Bo Douglas was siding with the Boston Bad Boy and the Brotherhood, but here you see it. Kicks Jason right in the stomach, sends him up, and crashes him right back down to the ring. Unbelievable maneuver. Then the superstar, Ryan Matthews, tried to roll Jason Rumble over for the pin, and the Reaper, Steve Beck, came out and got involved. And both men fighting fist to fist on their way to the back. And ultimately, in the end, Mike McCarthy was able to battle back and make Jason Rumble tap out and retain his DCW Heavyweight Championship of the World. Oh, gross. Jason Rumble is upset. Mike McCarthy, still your DCW Heavyweight Champion. Fans, here at Winter Warfare in Quincy, it's been one heck of an evening. We have been through hell and back. These two competitors have been putting us through. And finally, Mike McCarthy. Ladies and gentlemen, that does it all for Chris Charisma and I. I am the Magic Sean Finney. We'll see you next time on VCW Live. Good night, everybody!